One of our greatest roles and responsibilities as Christian parents is to teach our kids about God, who he is, what he has done, and how that affects our daily lives. So today, I want to share with you guys 10 resources that you can use alongside your kids to teach them about who God is. These resources are going to help you whether you have really little ones or elementary age kids or middle school, and even a few of them can be used for the high school years. So I hope you're excited. And if you stick around all the way to the end, I have a little bonus resource for you as parents to help you as you learn more about how to start these conversations. So let's get started. My name is Katie and welcome to Life in the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are going to help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. This video is actually a collab with my friend Ryan over at Mom on a Mission. She is by far one of my favorite YouTube channels and you guys should definitely go check her out. Click her little subscription button and tell her that Katie at Life the Mundane sent you. If you are looking for all things biblical womanhood, godly parenting, then her channel is going to be right up your alley. She's gonna help encourage you to be who God designed you to be and to help walk alongside your kids in this amazing journey. First up, the most important resource that you need to teach your kids about God is the Bible. Number one resource, hands down. Everything else I'm going to share with you here today in this video are the icing on the cake, right? It's just the bonus stuff. It's tools to help come alongside you as you teach your kids scripture. But ultimately, you have to be in God's word if you want to teach your kids about God. If that is a super intimidating or new thought process for you, you want some ideas or tips about how to practically insert God. God's word and getting into God's word with your kids, I encourage you to check out a video I did last year up in the iCards or down in the description below. But one of the things once we get down reading God's word with our kids is to start studying the Bible together. This is a lot more than just reading. It's starting to read for understanding. It's starting to dig in and see why did God say that and what does this teach us and how does this affect our daily lives? This is a super important skill for our kids to do. So I want to share three resources for you that help you with the area of Bible study. The first is Exploring the Bible by David Murray. This book is designed for kids ages 6 to 12. It's going to help your kids establish the habit of studying God's word for themselves by themselves. And so each day they're going to take just a little passage and read a few verses and answer one question that is outlined for them here in this book. They're going to have a place where they can journal their prayers and what they're praying for and even a place that they can take sermon notes if you desire. What I love about this book is it goes from Genesis to Revelation, just giving a really broad overview of scripture. Obviously, it's not super in-depth into every single thing that you have in the Bible, but it's giving you that big picture. And then he actually has created a sequel to this book, a second part to this book that is studying more Jesus ministry here on earth. I would love for you guys to check out those resources. They are so amazing, and you can do that down in the links below. The second resource for studying God's word, and this is one you can do alongside your kids and you can do with them is investigating God's word at home. This book is put out by One Story Ministries and I've actually done an entire review of these books if you want to see a flip through and all the amazing features that it has. But in a nutshell, they go through different books of the Bible. So this one actually goes through all the books of the Bible between Romans and Jude. Last year we did the book of Acts for a year and it has it broken down into really easy to bite off sections and you're reading scripture alongside your kids but it gives you discussion questions along with the answers to start studying God's word. This is a great resource if you're looking for something to include all together. The final resource in this category is anything from Not Consume Ministries. I really love Not Consume Ministries and their Bible studies. They have them on a theme basis. So one of our favorites is My Brother's Keeper, which goes through sibling relationships and what the Bible has to say about sibling relationships. But they also have one on obedience, the armor of God, on taming the tongue, and so much more. This is seriously such a great resource. We like to get them as a digital copy and then we can print them off and use them as many times as we need to. And we've actually enjoyed going through these resources year after year. So we do the My Brother's Keeper study almost every summer or every other summer as we go through. And it has workbooks that are gonna work for your really little ones who can't write yet. So it's got a lot more pictures and things to do. And then your kids who are in the middle and even kids who are older. So I love the fact that it spans all ages, but you can do the same study with all of your 
your kids at once, digging into what God's word has to say about these very important topics. The second thing that is really important when it comes to teaching your kid about God is to memorize God's word. So we want to read it, we want to study it, and now we're going to memorize it. We're going to hide it in our hearts. So with this resource in mind, I have something for your little ones. This is designed for ages three to seven years old, and it's Susan Hunt's My ABC Bible Verses. If you're not sure where to have your kids start when it comes to memorizing scripture, this is a great place to go. It has just a simple two-page layout per day. It gives you a short verse to memorize for that particular week or day, depending on how you want to structure it, and then gives you a story about how that practically applies to your child's life. But my kids love these engaging stories, and so whether you choose to memorize them or just read through it as a devotional, it can be super helpful to connecting the Bible verses to the ABCs. The second resource that is also helpful for all ages is Steve Green's Hide Them in Your Heart CDs. These can actually be found as CDs that you can purchase off Amazon. I'll put the link down below, but they are also available on Amazon Prime Music and some of them are even available on YouTube here for free. So these are just great word for word scripture songs that you can memorize with your kids and you'll be shocked how much they can take in when they put it to music. The third resource for this category is my friend Ashley over at Joyful Noise Learning has made an amazing Bible memory challenge just for you guys. And I am so excited to share it with you guys. It has been such a blessing. She has a different theme each month and then it gives you as parents straight to your email inbox, completely free, different verses to memorize on that theme. She gives adaptions if you're working with younger kids versus older kids. She gives you copy worksheets so you can copy the memory verse for the week and so so many amazing resources. So this is a great free resource if you're looking to start memorizing God's word and just not sure where to start. The third way we can teach our kids about who God is and what he's done is through practical application and teaching them how this applies to their life. The first one I want to share with you in this category is our catechism cards. If you're not familiar with what is the catechism, it's a series of questions and answers that go over the basis of the biblical faith. So things like who made you? God did. What else did God make? God made all things. Why did God make you in all things? For his glory. And I love the fact that in a very simple question and answer format, you can teach your kids serious biblical truths about God without having to know all of these different things. We love to use the children's catechism, and we actually love these cards from Engaging Disabilities with the Gospel. They have amazing illustrations and they're very inclusive. They have lots of different races and people with different abilities. And I just love the fact that there's a great illustration and an easy way to teach your kids these amazing questions. They don't include any images of Christ if that is a conviction for you. In fact, none of the resources that I'm sharing with you today have any, any images of Christ if that is a conviction that you hold to. The second one in this category is actually a resource that I have created that you can access for free. And it is a character study guide that goes alongside these amazing books put out by New Growth Press. These are amazing children's books on a wide variation of topics that teach our kids about God and teach them how to practically apply those things to their lives. So you have things like Buster's ears trip him up, teaching our kids what to do when they fail. What does the word say? What does God say about pride and how it comes before a fall? And what does God say about failing? God made me and you. This one is all about what does God's word say about racial diversity? Buster tries to bail. This one is all about what to do when we're stressed and what God's word has to say about that. Wide variation of topics, but each and every month I send out a free study guide to go alongside one of these books. You can purchase them. You can go get them from the library. It doesn't matter but they have different fun hands-on activities, other books you can read, songs you can sing, and so much more that you can access to kind of make a unit study around these different topics. If that's something of interest to you, be sure to click the link down below and you guys can get that. And you actually not only get this month's study guide, but you'll get access to all the previous month's study guides. And so that way you can pick and choose which topics sound most interesting to you. The third resource is Big Truths for Little Kids. This one is also done by Susan Hunt and is designed for kids ages four to eight, but I would say there's a little bit of flex on either side of that age range. And again, it is that question and answer format, teaching your kids about basics of the faith and giving them a devotional to go along with it. So you could use this in addition to catechism cards or starting it out there and then going to the catechism. However you like to use it, it is a great resource. Our bonus resource today, I know all of these things have been things that you can use with your kids, alongside your kids. But as parents, what if you want to learn more about how to share the gospel with your kids, how to teach your kids about God? 
is the Family Guidance series from Joel Beakey. These three little books, they're just little booklets, they won't take you very long to get through at all, can really be a great starting point when it comes to his parents wanting to learn how to guide your kids and teach them about God. There's one on family worship, what it is, why you should do it, how to get started, really practical tips. One, Gospel of the Covenant Children, how to start teaching your kids who are in your home about God and who they are in Christ. And then finally, family at church. And I just find these resources so easy to consume and yet so impactful. If you guys ever want to see a video on parenting resources that you can use for your kids, let me know. I would be happy to make that for you guys. And if you guys want to check out how to be in the word with your kids more in depth, how to walk alongside them and start that time reading scripture, be sure to check out the video here. And if you want a more in-depth look at the Not Consume Ministries studies, and especially the ones on sibling relationships, check out the video here. I hope you guys have a great day and you'll hit the subscribe button. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.